in this video tutorial you are going to learn how to make a web application like this using Django Ajax and JSON this is the CRUD operation hello guys so in this video we are going to learn how to execute CRUD operation using Django, Ajax and JSON. We will be following this tutorial which is on my website studygyan.com. Links in description. In this tutorial we will be using class based views function. For simplification we will be using database MySQLite which is the default database in Django. We'll take an example of user management system where we will be adding, updating and deleting users and its detail. So let's get started. After setting up the Django project, we need to do some basic configuration. In this tutorial, we are using jQuery for implementing Ajax request. Go to your projects and in project, in templates folder, create a file name base.html and in that, copy this HTML code. And paste it here save the file if you notice here we are using bootstrap CDN and jQuery CDNs now we are using CRUD operation so we need to create a model so we are going to create a CRUD user model copy this code and go to the project and in project go to the crud ajax app and in that go to models.py now paste that code here save it okay now we have created the model now we need to migrate this data in this model we have created name field address field and age field now we need to migrate this data for migrating data go to the terminal and type python manage.py make migrations and hit enter after that python manage.py migrate and hit enter okay this will create the field name address age in our SQLite database before moving to CRUD operations we need to add some data to CRUD user model this is not mandatory but if you add it it will be helpful for you so we will be using Django admin site for login in Django admin site we need to create a super user type the following command and create the super user super user created successfully now we need to register the crud user model to display it in django admin so go to the crud ajax app and in that go to admin.py file now we need to import the crud user model from models.py file and 
register it using the following code and the model name. Now we need to run the server. Go to the browser and type localhost 8000 port. And here you will see like this, like the installed works successfully. A Django application is working successfully and there is no error. Now go to the URL localhost colon 8000 port admin and in that type the admin username and password which we have created using super user then as you can see we have registered the crud user model so we can see it here now we'll add some initial data in it So let's start by listing user details operation. We have copied the code of user listing detail. Okay, so I'm going to explain it how it works. In CRUD Ajax app in views.py, we are using list view and we have created CRUD view function. In this function, we are using model CRUD user and we have created a template in crud ajax folder crud ajax template here it is and the object name as users and in urls we have given the path like this and the path name is crud view we have imported the crud ajax views and the crud view function and we have given the name crud ajax and in crud.html file we have extended the html file with base.html file and loaded the static files and we have created the template using this html code so if you see the browser localhost colon 8000 crud you will see the following and if you see this, this is the data which has came from CRUD user model. Now we will see create and read user data using Django Ajax. So we have copied this code in our views.py and this URL in urls.py so this is the code in this we are using view generic and we are getting the data using get method and the data which is posted using get method is catched here and we have creating the object and we are responsing it using JSON response and here is the URL now we need to see this crud.html again we are going to edit here is the form which we are going to use for sending data so copy this form as now we just need to replace this block copy this and replace it with this and save the file here we are getting the form after submission we are using javascript after form submission we are getting the data and we are sending it using ajax and after getting the data if we are getting the response we are appending that data to the table which we is this sorry this one see the browser let's add some data and submit the data and here you will be seeing this all these things are done using JavaScript update user operation using Django Ajax we have already copied this function 
in our views.py and this path in urls.py. Let's see it. Here it is. We are getting the data and we are getting the data from the get method and we are creating the instance of it and saving it and we are responsing it using JSON response and here is the URL now let's see some HTML code if you see the CRUD page we have already added the module we have already added the form also now we just need add this code this JavaScript code in the crud.html in this code in this JavaScript code we are doing the similar thing that we have done in create operation we are getting the data we are sending it using Ajax and once the data is success we are updating that data and the HTML form these are the functions added and update refresh and let's edit this one this data edit testing one testing one and save changes and here it is the changes has done delete operation using Django Ajax we have copied this view in our views.py and this URL in urls.py. Let's see it. Here is the function and we are getting the data. Actually, we are getting the ID. And we are getting that ID and we are deleting it from the CRUD user model from the database. And response is sent. Here is the URL. Let's copy this JavaScript function to crud.html form. And if you see, we are getting the ID and sending it as we are getting that ID in views.py. Let's see the browser, refresh the browser. And let's say we want to delete this user testing, testing. Okay. So click on delete, OK, and the data is deleted. Now you are wondering that it is deleted from the front end. Let's see it is also deleted from back end also. We can do refresh and the data is not coming. Even we can check using admin. And here is the result. The fourth user object is deleted.